హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు జిఎంకే ట్యూటోరియల్స్ సో ఇప్పటి వరకు ఎవరైనా ఇంకా మన ఛానల్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోకుండా ఉంటే సో ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అవర్ ఛానల్ ఓకే సో ఫర్ గెటింగ్ మోర్ వీడియోస్ అండ్ లేటెస్ట్ వీడియోస్ ఇన్ ద డిఫరెంట్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ సో టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఫోకసింగ్ ఆన్ ఇమేజ్ రిస్టోరేషన్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇన్ ద ఇమేజ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ సో జనరల్లీ రిస్టోరేషన్ మీన్స్ దట్ వీఆర్ రికవరింగ్ ది ఇమేజ్ ఓకే రిస్టోరేషన్ మీన్స్ దట్ జనరల్లీ వీఆర్ రికవరింగ్ ది ఇమేజ్ so let us see the restoration attempts to recover an image that has been degraded by by degraded function that means if you want to uh, if you are applying the any image by some degradation function we will get some output image that output image is generally called as a degraded image the degraded image having a noise component also suppose if you want to restore the degraded image compulsory you have to know about the some information regarding the degraded phenomena as well as as well as corresponding uh, noise component so that is a basic thing in case of the degradation function so let us see uh, one more uh, some more details regarding the restoration process so in order to re- uh, recover the image we have to apply some inverse process that means if you are uh, if you know the uh, degradation function a uh, degradation image why the degradation is is happening so if you are applying the reverse process to that one obviously we can get the corresponding original image by applying the suitable techniques to the corresponding image okay then let us see the so removal of image blur by applying the deblurring function is considered as a restoration suppose image is blurred by image acquisition or maybe transmitting the image from uh, one place to the another place obviously there is a possibility of the noise will be added in the image so at that time if uh, image blurring is happening in the degraded image if you are removing the de- uh, blurring in the degraded image then we can get the original image Appro- that original image is approximately equal to the input image that is also called as a restoration technique right so let us see the remaining concepts so this is a block diagrammatic representation for the image restoration so generally let us see the block diagram so image restoration or degradation function so this is nothing but a degradation function input image okay here we are applying the input image just a minute so this is nothing but a degradation input image it is nothing but input image applied to the input image is applied to the uh, degradation function as well as some noise is added to the corresponding degradation function we can get the g of x comma where g of x comma y is nothing but it is a convolution of the f of x comma y as well as the degradation function plus noise component that gives rise to the g of x comma where g of x comma y is nothing but degraded function if you are applying applying the restoration filters to the g of x comma y we can also call as a degraded image we can estimate the input image that can be represented as f cap of x comma y where f cap of x comma y is generally called as a restoration image so a degradation function together with additive noise is generally called additive noise term operates on the input image to produce the degraded image so that is uh, whatever we discussed in the little uh, let a uh, few seconds before that is nothing but degraded function is nothing but it is a addition of additive noise moreover it operates on the input image to produce the degraded function okay then so if you want to degrade if you want to restore the corresponding image compulsory you have to know about the some uh, knowledge about the degradation function h as well as degradation function as well as Uh, some knowledge about the additive noise term then only is it possible is it is possible to restore the corresponding image that is also very important so that is nothing but knowledge about the degradation function knowledge about the noise terms also so at the same time where h is nothing but a linear position invariant process by with the help of a spatial representation notation so the object of restoration is nothing but to obtain the obtain an estimate of 
a flash of x comma y from the from the degraded dimension okay so in the spatial domain it can be represented as g of x comma y is equal to that means degraded image is equal to convolution of h of x comma y to f of x comma y plus naught added to noise so that gives rise to the corresponding where h of x comma y is generally called as a h of x comma y is obviously it is a spatial representation or spatial representation of the degradation function where star represents the convolution operator okay star represents a convolution operator we star represents a convolution of at the same time if we want to represent the same function the frequency domain representation that is equal to the g of u comma v that is equal to g of u comma v is equal to h of u h of u comma v into f of u comma v plus into n of u comma v where this is nothing but convolution time domain is equal to multiplication frequency domain this is a multiplication in frequency domain so based on that property we can represent like this n of u comma v is nothing but frequency domain representation of u of u x comma y okay then we will go for the noise model so the noise model means that here noise model means sir generally the noise so sources of noise is generally sources of noise is possible in different ways the basic sources of noise is nothing but either image acquisition or maybe transmission these are the basic two sources for the image noise image acquisition as well as transmission as well as the performance of the sensors is also affected by the different variety of factors such as environmental conditions or maybe acquisition quality of the sensing materials or also affects the uh, imaging affects the uh, corresponding uh, quality of the image also that, that means that means there is a possibility of noise is also introduced in the image apart from that acquiring the images the cct camera or lighting condition sensor temperature also affects the amount of noise is in the resulting image also moreover the images are corrupted during the transmission time basically due to the interference of the channel like uh, if you are transmitting the images in the wireless transmission there is a possibility of noise will be added in the uh, transmitted image because of the atmospheric and the lighting conditions in the environment so those are the different sources of noise is added in the image uh, while transmitting or maybe while acquisition of the corresponding image so those are the basic reasons for sources of noise next one spatial and frequency properties of noise basically spatial properties or characteristics of noise means that noise is correlated with the image frequency properties refers to the frequency content of the noise in the fourier sense as well as the frequency spectrum of the noise is constant we can call it is a white noise okay then coming to the some important noise probability density functions point of view we have a different properties will be there so let's see one by one is nothing but uh, gaussian noise because gaussian noise is a very advantage compared to the remaining one that's why we will focusing on first one is nothing but gaussian noise the mathematical representation of the gaussian noise is equal to gaussian noise is equal to p of z is nothing but probability density function of a gaussian random variable z is given by p of z is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi into sigma e power minus z minus z bar whole square by 2 sigma square where z represents the intensity and z bar represents the mean value as well as sigma represents the standard deviation sigma square represents the variance of the z where z bar means that mean means that a mean value that means average intensity value z d represents the intensity sigma represents the standard deviation sigma square is nothing but variance this variance represents the contrast in the image sigma represents the sigma square represents the contrast in the image that is a, those are the some different representations of the z and z bar okay so this is a graphical representation of the gaussian function here closely observe this equation 1 by square root of 
2 pi into sigma is the maximum value of Gaussian random variable. 0 0.607 into square root of 2 pi into sigma is nothing but almost to 60 plus or maybe 75 or around 60 percent of noise will be introduced in the corresponding thing. Next one is nothing but Rayleigh noise. Rayleigh noise is nothing but the PDF equation. Uh, the 75 70 percent of the value will be existing in this case and the remaining will be existing in the remaining parts of it. So this next one is nothing but Rayleigh probability density function that can be given as P of Z is equal to P of Z is equal to 